On previous pages, you calculated how many calories something had based on the grams. This problem is going the opposite way. It's getting calories, and it wants to know how many grams. The real reason to do this problem is to make sure you understand the energy density of carbohydrates, fats, and protein. However, there probably are times where you would actually have to calculate this in the future, depending on what your graduate program is. So, I have 700 calories, and I know that 50% of them are from carbohydrates. So, and before I go on, I want to point out two things. In this question, I broke it down for you, how many calories you get from each macronutrient and how many grams. So to find the grams, first I need to know how many calories I get from carbohydrates, how many calories I get from fats. So I do the first part, calories from each macronutrient. I have 700 calories, and I know that's 50% of my calories. So 50% of my calories come from carbohydrates, so that would be 0 0.5 times 700 kcal. Now again, kcal and food calories are the same thing, and that equals 350 kcal. Now for fats, 30%, 700 calories times 30% equals 0 0.3, that's 30%. I could put it the zero if I really want to, times 700 kcal, that equals 240 calories or kcal, or 210 kcal. Sorry about that. And lastly, 700 kcal times 20% equals 0 0.20 times 700 kcal. And that is going to equal 140 kcals. So now I know how many calories I get from each nutrient, and that it adds up to 700. 350 plus 210 plus 140. Now that I know how many calories from each nutrient, I could find the grams from each nutrient. Now, on the test, it might skip this middle section. So, it's again, the tests are going to test, can you figure things out? Can you do critical thinking? So, let us skip a line and change the color. So, I know I have 350 kcal from carbohydrates. Now, my energy density, let's put that over here is 4 kcal per gram. I want to get rid of kcals. So that means I divide. So I'm going to give a little underline here. And four kcal per gram. So that is actually going to equal, if I do the math, 350 kcal times grams over 4 kcal. And look, kilocalories are going to cancel out. And I get left with 350 divided by 4 is 87.5 grams. Let's do that with lipids now. So let's make the color, I don't know, purple. So I have 210 kcal from lipids. And I know that the energy density from lipids is 9 kcal per gram. And that gives me 210 kcal times grams over 9 kcal. Again, nicely, kcals cancel out, and I am left with 23.33 grams. So, third one, 140 kcal from my protein. Let us use green. And again, the energy density for proteins is 4 kcal per gram. So that is going to equal 140 kcal 
times grams over 4 k cal. And I have no idea why I'm not hitting the G. And that is going to equal 35 grams from protein. So again, this is really to test your understanding. Can you, do you understand the energy density? There is some math involved. I promise there's only one test on the question one test question where you actually have to do this is to test your understanding. So I suggest just doing food labels and practicing. And what you're also going to find out on the food labels is they actually lie for their total calorie content. So thank you very much.